is at Taco Bell on Northern Boulevard on a Sunday. Sunday about 11.30. And this phone has been hiding in the bushes for a couple of years now. It used to be upright, of course, but it got knocked down and for a while it was actually out on the sidewalk. But it looks like somebody decided to stick it in the bushes. It's an underdog communications phone. Underdog communications no longer exists. I don't remember ever using this one. It's been, it's been dead for a very long time, probably over 10, 12 years. I thought that was going to be the the phone sign that would be would have been on top. You can see where the the metal post goes all the way all the way back. But there's no sign on top. I guess somebody stole it. There used to be a sign that just said phone. I wonder how long it's going to stay here. <laughs> Beautiful Northern Boulevard. It's Northern Boulevard at 82nd Street. There was another abandoned phone back a ways, about 10 blocks, I think. But I didn't get it because there were a whole bunch of people standing around it. It didn't look like they were going anywhere. I have no memory of this one. check street view for this one. Pretty sure this was a payphone. <laughs> this is sort of the vestiges of a pedestal. And I think this was the landline that connected it. I'll see if old street view imagery has a has a capture of it. Making the caveat that I'm not can't be totally certain that's what this is or was. It's kind of far from this from the building. Yeah, this is northern between 82nd and 83rd. Okay. back at the Roosevelt Avenue. The infamous stuck key payphone to see if it's still stuck. And it is. Bummer. I really don't have myself to blame for this. Because I'm the one who, it looks like the star key is the one that's stuck. And I can't, I can't unstick it. Maybe if I brought some kind of device, I could pry it loose, but I don't want to fuck with the phone or get in trouble for looking like I'm trying to break into it. But I'm the one who dialed star one zero, and the star key is what's stuck. Nobody, most people using this phone would not use the star key for any reason. <laughs> so, 
it's still stuck and it's all my fault. No, this one is still standing. I think I was last out here a couple of months ago. 69th Street at 38th Avenue. Try something. Just wanted to get the sound. I'll do it again. There's never been a payphone that accepts pennies or makes change. The way it was supposed to work was. If a call was 25 cents and all you had was three dimes, you'd put in your 30 cents and you'd get a prorated extra couple of minutes of call time for the extra nickel. At least that's how it was supposed to work. I've documented this one a number of times, but I get it when I can because most of the days there's a group of like a half dozen drunk men that sit around out here blasting loud music and they put the radio in the in the payphone enclosure and they don't look like people I'd want to interact with. Looks like somebody tried to make a call, but I'm not even going to check the dial tone on this one because I know it doesn't, it's not there. This is Broadway near 65th Street in Woodside. I guess it's probably too drunk for those guys to be coming out here. I mean, not too drunk, too cold for those guys to be sitting around out here drinking all day, but. seem to be here during weekdays today's Sunday. on the side of a tire shop on Broadway at 63rd Street. I don't remember if I got made video of this one before. It's been here for years. Empty.
This always looks to me like a screaming face. The two eyes on top and the shocked mouth.